running a 170 millimeter fork on this bike, and I'm gonna show you that fork in a minute, but I find my sweet spot for the Ritmo is a 170 mil fork with a negative one degree angle set. Next thing we're going to put on is the fork. And this also comes with a sponsor announcement. As you can see, we're going to be running Manitou suspension, which I am unbelievably stoked about. I have been a huge fanboy of Manitou. I used to have an OG Dorado on my old downhill bike. It was and has been the best fork I've ever used in my life. And so we switched over to Manitou for two big reasons. One, the Dorado, and you'll be seeing more of that this year. And two, the Mezzer. I'm gonna tell you more about this fork and Manitou suspension throughout the year, but uh, I'll just say this. Go onto Google and try and find a bad review of this fork. That's all I'm saying. probably notice two weird things about what I've just done. One, I didn't cut this. I had to cut it earlier. The place that we're renting didn't really want metal shavings all over the place. Fair enough. Two, I knew I was gonna forget something on this build. There's so many moving parts, and those parts that I forgot were the headset spacers. Fortunately, it doesn't affect our build that badly. Yeah, all right, we are spoiled by being able to use better bolts on this build, so they sent a whole bunch of bronze titanium hardware for just such an occasion like this. One thing to note about titanium hardware and aluminum components is that you always gotta put a little bit of this anti-seize on every bolt. Because, fun fact, titanium and aluminum don't really like each other very much. dev cranks 165 millimeter length also did you know that you can get like a medium strength oval chain ring All right, so this partnership with Manitou just started like a week, week and a half ago kind of thing, and they were so good with getting all these parts to us so fast. But one of the things that didn't make it on time is the Mara Pro Shock that I'm really stoked to start using. So this is a Mara, and this is the one that's gonna be going on Beth's Ritmo. Doesn't have a reservoir, whereas the Mara Pro does. So uh, gonna be a little placeholder for now. More bronze bolts. And these ones are actually Ibis Ritmo specific.
One of the biggest reasons why I wanted to try out these uh, De Hayes Dominion A4s is these little grub screws on the post mounts where you can dial in exactly how you want your caliper to be in relation to that rotor. So they just made that so much easier and I really appreciate it. So I'm looking forward to that. Oh, that's so nice. This is this is exactly what that spinny thing's for. Like, yeah, it's like for this, but mostly you grab the tool like this and then you can spin it. That is, that's really nice. One of the things I love about this fork is this really slick way of routing the brake cable around front. I think it's one of the, the cleaner implementations I've seen. What does this take? Six, probably? Yeah. Love that noise. So this is a custom wheel build I had done at a local shop, Rebound Cycle, here in Canmore. And this is a carbon S35 rim from Ibis. I really love this rim. Uh, and it's laced to a Chris King hub because... Uh, and then we've got a big old honkin' chunky XX1 cassette on there. Definitely one of the bigger splurges on this bike build, but I mean the copper, come on. So on this build, it's a little bit different. I'm using two Michelin Wild Enduro front tires on this one. That's because the first big filming trip of the year that we're gonna be taking is to the North Shore. So it's probably gonna be raining, it's probably gonna be muddy, and I'm not gonna be in very good shape because it's January. So uh, I went for a lighter weight setup with tons of grip. Have you guys spotted the, uh, the next sponsor announcement yet? That's right, we are wearing Ride NF apparel this year. Really pumped about that. They're a Vancouver company. They make everything actually in Vancouver. They design it in Vancouver. Everything happens there. Really great people, and there's a huge focus on trying to be environmentally responsible with the materials that they use, with how they ship items and how they package items so that it really aligns with our own personal values. And their stuff looks really, really good. looks like it's seated, but there were no pops. That's weird. What does that mean? Lucky day, I guess. Right there, perfect.
I love this tool. I, I use it only sometimes, but when I do need it, it's great. It's all it does, put it on instead of a pedal, so you can work through your gears for throwing pedals on it. How ergonomic. I have got to got an SDG Telus dropper with a two hundred mil drop. Favorite part. Out of the stand, onto the ground. thank you to all of our sponsors and all the contributors to this bicycle. Cannot thank you all enough. And a big thanks to Park Tools for supporting this video and Rocky Mountain Auto Salon here in Canmore. Couldn't have done it without a large group of people. And of course, James, who's on the camera right now and has been helping all day. Same with Hunter, he's been behind the camera and helping all day. Yeah, it takes a village to build a bike sometimes when it's going on YouTube. Thanks for watching everybody. Subscribe if you wanna see more. We got some big trips coming up and a really, really big announcement coming up very, very soon. Thanks everybody, cheers.